Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a codes redeem system in Roblox Studio. The first thing we are going to do is go to start a GUI and we are going to insert a screen GUI and in that screen GUI, create a text box, drag it over and then create a text button. Name this text button to redeem and change the text of this text button to redeem. Now we are going to go over to service script service and insert a script. Now in this script paste the script that I have in the paste bin in the description. Once pasted I will explain what it does. So we create a folder called leader stats and we create another folder called codes and in the leader stats folder we create the coins value and in the codes folder we create redeem one and redeem two bool values these values are when you redeem a code so if you redeemed the first code it will be set to true and if you redeem the second one it will also be set to true now it, later in the video i'm going to show you how to make a third code now i'm going to create some remote events. So I'm going to create a folder called RES and in it I'm going to add a remote event. I'm going to name that remote event to redeem one. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to name the second one to redeem two. Now I'm going to go to start a GUI go to the redeem button and I'm going to insert a local script. Paste the second script I have in the paste bin linked in the description. What this script does is it gets the remote events for redeem one and redeem two. And actually I made a mistake here. It should be code redeem one and code redeem two. So just rename the remote events to code redeem one and code redeem two. And then these are the codes so the two codes right now we have our subscribe and 10k coins so when you click the button if you click if the text box so if the text typed is equal to subscribe or in this case code one which is the area it is in the table it will fire code redeem one the remote event and it does the same thing if it is 10k coins so now we have to do is we have to create another script in server script service and real quick just rename the leader stats script to the leader stats for organization purposes and now create another script name it remote events and paste the third and final script linked in the paste linked in the description in the paste bin. what this script does is it once again get the remote events but now it finds the actual values. So when the code redeem one is received, if the value is equal to false, it sets the value to true and then it adds 10 to your cash or coins. It does the same thing here. And when the value is set to true, if we go back to leader stats, it saves the value right here. So if the data is here, so it's going to load in the value of the data. Now, before we test this, we have to publish this to Roblox because the data saving will not work if it is not public. And now I'm gonna to go to home, I'm going to go to game settings, I'm gonna to go to security, and I'm gonna click enable studio access to API services. Now, to create a third code, we have to do a few things. First thing we have to do in the leader stats is we now have to duplicate this and just change it to three and rename redeem two to redeem three. Now we go here, we copy this value when it loads your data, we change this to redeem three and we change this to redeem three. And we do same thing right here, so redeem three dot value equals false. And I believe that is all we do in this script. Now we go over to this script and we do another one. So in this case, let's go to get a storage RES and let's duplicate the remote event and rename it to code redeem three. Now we have to duplicate this and change it to code three and code three fire. Now this is the fun part where you get to decide what the code is going to be. So here I'm going to make it 
more codes because that just came to mind. And don't forget to also do local code redeem three equals res dot code redeem three because you have to tell the server script what the remote event is. And now let's go to the final script in the remote event. So now another thing we do is now we get to decide how much the player gets when they redeem the code. So let's just duplicate this redeem code right here and name it to code redeem three on server event. We have to also introduce it here or else it will error. And we also have to take this part and duplicate it. Code redeem three, code redeem, now just redeem three. And now I'm going to make it so that you get 100,000 when you redeem this code. And I'm also going to set if, uh, the redeem value to three and redeem value to three. Now, technically you could test this in studio, but especially with data saving, studio is not really what you're supposed to use because it's not very good. So I'm going to test this in the main game. Here I am in the main game on Roblox. So I'm going to type the first code, which is subscribe. As you can see, I get 10 coins. I'm going to type in the second code, which is 10K coins. As you can see, I get 10,000 coins. And now more codes. Redeem, I get 100,000 coins. And now I'm going to leave and rejoin and see if it properly loads. As you can see, I just rejoined and it has properly loaded. And if you want to see one more time, if I type in the codes, it does not let me redeem them twice. I really hope you enjoyed your video and it did take a very long time and I put a lot of effort into these videos. So please consider to like and subscribe. Peace.